Good evening everyone. Gosh, I look like I'm <laughs> I'm short today. Um, good evening everyone and welcome to Sugar and Crumbs uh, with Nifty Nozzles. My name is Tracy Mann from Tracy Mann Cakes and today I'm going to be showing you how to pipe some very simple flowers with royal icing made from Carol's Whipping It Up, which I'm also going to show you how to make as well. Um, and we're going to then put them onto a cake and we're going to go for more bling. So we went for a little bit of bling last week, so we're going to go for even more bling this week um, with pink and silver bling. I've just put my comments on so I can see what's going on. Um, so that's what we're aiming to do this evening. So thank you very much for those of you that are joining me this evening. Let me take that down. I'm here every Tuesday evening at half past six with my daughter. Say hello, Kelly. Hello. <laughs> Kelly is here on comments. So if you have any questions that you would like to ask me or any comments, then Kelly will feed those back to me. So do feel free to get involved um, in anything that we're showing you this evening. I'm more than happy to help you with any of your questions with regards to royal icing. So we're going to be using whipping it up again and showing you how to make the royal icing. And then we're going to be showing you how to do a very nice cake with a very blingy pattern on it. So some of the work I've already done in advance, but I will explain that as we go along. So um, some of you um, will know already that I am doing a Royal Icing online course. So if you are interested in joining the Royal Icing course, it's going to be starting on the 3rd of February. Um, which is a Wednesday. It is going to be on um, a platform that you can watch it in your own time. There's going to be a couple of Facebook Lives as well. Again, you can watch those live or you can join in at a later date. And it is available on my website, so you would need to go there rather than the Sugar and Crumbs page, um, but you're very welcome to join us. It's going to be a very interesting course. I'm painting cookies this week. Now, it's taken me forever because I have to keep waiting for them to dry. And that's the thing with cookies. You do a bit, you go away, you come back, do another bit more so it does feel like I've been doing it all week long um, but I have finished some of them today uh, so the course is well on progress at the moment so if you want to have a look at any of the images um, for the raw Icing course I have been posting some on my Facebook page I've also been posting some on Sugar and Crumbs uh, Kate community page you can see some on there or my Instagram that has some on there as well just pop that up and because I just like pressing the buttons <laughs> Um, so yes, uh, it's on there as well. So if you want to have a look at some of the images for the Royal Icing, there's a few around behind me. Last week's cake is behind me, which is now available to go back and watch as well. So if you haven't um, seen the, um, the one I did last week, or you miss any of the lives, they are all available on Sugar and Crumbs. So you can go back and watch any of them at any time. Um, so if you want to catch up, then absolutely fine. Is your... You're looking at me, Kelly. Yes, so I, <laughs> I, I, ha I have a. Um... She's looking at me. She's going to ask me something. Um, is the course suitable for beginners? Absolutely, yes. Um, we're going to be doing this uh, royal icing from the beginning. So if you've never done any piping before, or the fear of it, or it, uh, you think, well, I'm not sure whether I can do this, you will be able to do this. I, I, I'm sure of that. I'm also going to say guarantee then, but I, I'm pretty sure you're going to be fine. I've taught lots and lots of people royal icing over the years, so I'm sure it's going to be absolutely fine, and you'll absolutely love it. Um, it's a really lovely, lovely thing to do, and I'm going to obviously show you how to make it with whipping it up tonight as well and then I'm going to be piping patterns and on these lives I've been doing quite a lot of modern designs because I want people to not just think of the old-fashioned designs with royal icing which are beautiful and lovely I, I love it um, that kind of piping but also sort of more modern things as well um, and the cookies obviously and the biscuits the flooding and all those as well so you're not I thought you were looking at me oh, then no. <laughs> I have to keep checking on Kelly, you see. She's got all the comments, but you were looking at me then and mm. I thought I'd missed something. So we're going to carry on. So tonight we're going to be using Whipping It Up. There we go, which is this one here. Um, we have got Velvet Vanilla tonight. Um, Carol does this. This is her product. So this is available on Sugar and Crumbs. She does regular things with this. I think she did macarons last night. Uh, Swiss Meringue Buttercream. Butter I need to get my teeth in. Mousse. Uh, meringue, pavlova, shortbread, royal icing and more. Uh, Gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free, vegetarian. So there you go. This is great because for royal icing, um, it's already got the egg powder in here. So all you're doing is just adding water. I really like that idea because it's just less work, to be honest. So um, I have been using quite a lot of this, whipping it up now. Uh, so there you go. <laughs> um, that's what we're going to be using tonight. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to put together. I'm just going to have to... Um, take my um, mobile phone cord out, which is um, holding my phone together. 
because I realised the battery was flat when I got it, so I'm just going to take that out so you can see it. So we're going to move the um, food mixer um, under the camera so you can see it, so we'll show you what that looks like. Um, it will get quite noisy, so I will have to uh, not speak for a while. I need to learn a bit of basic sign language, don't I? Let me just get a, a towel. Um, so we don't end up with icing sugar absolutely everywhere. So whipping it up already has the egg in it, which means all we need to do is add the um, water. Perfect, I can do that. So 500 grams of whipping it up with 70 grams of water. Water out of the tap is fine. Um, that's all you need. It doesn't need to be boiled or anything. I'm just going to move my overhead camera out of the way for a second while I just put the icing sugar into the bowl, otherwise it will be absolutely everywhere. Don't forget to like and share. Don't forget to like and share. Thank you, Kelly. Right. Do you know what I've left over at the sink? Is the um, KB to there? Oh, there it is. Okay, I can see it. I'm so organised. <laughs> right, let's have a look at the other camera. So the whipping it up is in there. So let's just put my KB to in. I always use my KB to. I don't tend to use my whisk. This works good for me, so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to just close that down. I'm just trying to work out the best angle so that I don't... Ooh, there we go. All right, okay, we can still see just about. I'm going to lift that up a little bit. Um, oh, no, we can't see at all now. That's no good. There we go, that's better. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to um, add the water. So we'll add... There we go. And we'll switch it on. So it might get a little bit noisy for the minute. So we just start the mixing process, so 70 grams of water, and I'm going to show you what you need to do with oil icing because you need to be make sure you follow it correctly, and it's very important to put in the last bit of water. Okay, so you can see it mixing now just about. for a reason so I will just lift that up to show you what's going on at the moment I'm just going to tip my camera a little bit there so when you first mix um, this together you can see that it's sort of quite dull um, it has no sort of spring in it you can't sort of try and turn it into a snow scene as I'd call it so when you touch it with a palette knife it lifts it's very it's just sort of um, what's the word glossy and just not doing very much it's not what we're looking for so the key to this is that you need to uh, whip it basically there's the the key in the word so we're going to turn the food mixer back on and we're going to leave it to beat for three to four minutes so i probably won't say very much for a minute i'll just point and <laughs> don't think you can still hear me but we'll give it a go anyway so let's get that going to land there right let me find the palette knife okay so once it's been through that process oh let's get the camera going again so we can see what's happening carol's saying use a whisk i know she is <laughs> 
I don't know where it is, Carol, that's the problem. So that's why I only ever use my K beaters. <laughs> It does the job, so I'm all right, don't worry. So this is what it should look like. So it's like a little mini snow scene. Let me turn it that way so a little bit so you can see it. So when you, so I've just got to make sure you can see it. There you go. Right, so when you pull it like that, can you see? It's standing. So that's what normal royal icing should look like. It's like a bit of a snow scene there. Can you see? Put that all over your cake. So that's what you're looking for when you do royal icing. So this is perfect. Thank you very much. So that's uh, 70 grams of water mixed with uh, your entire pack of whipping it up. Now you don't have to mix the whole lot. You can always half it and do 250 grams to 75 grams of water. So you 35. don't 35. Thank you, Kelly. So you don't need um, to do the whole bag in one go. Um, that's fine, so you can just do that, no problem. Now, royal icing, you need to um, store it straight away because it does not like being left in bowls. It sets like concrete royal icing, so you will need to move it into a separate bowl. I tend to use lasagna dishes, I know it's a mad, but I have got these glass bowls with plastic um, lids that's great, and that works really well for me. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna move the camera across here, and we're just going to get my plastic bowl. Where's the scrape, um, the spatula? There we go. Right, okay. So I'm going to just move this into, now I've already got some in here that I made not that long ago. So as I'm filming royal icing at the moment, there is royal icing everywhere and I'm using a lot of it, which is great. So I am going to be using this all tomorrow. I'm going to use some tonight, obviously. Let me take my beater out of the way. That would help, wouldn't it? It's in my way. Right, pop that in the sink. There we go. Okay. So royal icing will store for a period of time in one of these. Um, the only thing I would say is that if you're doing royal icing, um, it will store, but what it does, it tends to separate. Um, and that just means you need to sort of whip it back up again. Um, but what I would say to you is, is if you're doing something like the Royal Icing course, for example, is just make up half batches, do what you need to do, and then make another fresh batch the next day because it just saves your nozzles getting blocked. It's much, much easier. So there we go. Once it's in there, I just take my lid and then just put that over the top and that will just keep it in there like that. We store everything at room temperature. So let me turn my camera on again. There we go. So room temperature for... Um, royal icing, you don't store it in the fridge. If you store royal icing in the fridge, it crystallises, it's not good. So that's what uh, we need to do for that. I'll just move my food mix out of the way. Pass my bowl to Kelly, who's going to put some water in it for me. Sorry. Kelly's Someone. on comments and she's washing up and there's <laughs> all sorts going on. I'm trying to do a link. You're trying to do a link. <laughs> Can do that in a minute Kel. So we're going to do a cake tonight and I'm going to show you how we're going to um, colour some of the icing as well and that's the next question is what did I do with the pink icing. I had this massive clear up at 4.30 which was a major mistake today because <laughs> I'm looking around going and now what did I do with the icing. So when you colour royal icing you can use um, paste colours so you can use something like let me just lean over. There we go. Let's find a paste colour I can show you. Right, here we go. So, paste colour. So that's a paste colour. It comes in a little pot like that to get the right angle of the camera. There we go. That's a paste colour. So you can colour royal icing with that. You can also colour royal icing with these. So these are gels. That's okay. You can do that with royal icing. Um, you can use dusts, but to be perfectly honest, it can end up being quite expensive. So I wouldn't bother using dusts. I would just stick to using gels and paste. That's absolutely fine. The one you want to avoid really is liquid. So you can, sometimes you can go to the supermarkets and you can see little bottles of liquid food colouring. I would just avoid those because it starts to interfere with the consistency of it. So get rid of that and just stick to your gels and your paste and you'll be absolutely fine. And it doesn't matter what brand because sometimes people say to me, oh, what brand are you using? It really doesn't matter. So um, just use um, anything that gives you a really good colour. And just remember also as well, 
The same rule applies when you put it into royal icing, it will darken over a period of time. It won't go really dark, but you will notice a change maybe overnight if you've done pink and then it might go a little bit darker. So just keep an eye on that. Right, okay, so we are going to mix some colour first because um, we're going to pipe some flowers. I say I have done some in advance and we're going to do it on a flower nail. So this is a flower nail, that's what it looks like. Um, Oops, that way, camera. <laughs> so that's a flower nail, so I'm gonna show you how to do some of those. I've piped some in advance because I'm gonna show you what you can do with them when they dry. So they do take a little bit of time to dry. I piped some this afternoon at two o'clock, we're now quarter to seven, and they are dry completely. So you do need to leave them for a little bit of time. Um, so that the ones I've done are already in the box, but I'm gonna show you how I did all of them. Um, and then I'm gonna show you how to put them onto a cake. And we're going to bling a cake up and it's going to be fabulous, of course. Um, <laughs> so first thing we're gonna do is do some coloring. Let me just grab my bowl. And I've done loads and loads of washing up and left it all on the sink. So <laughs> I've to keep running back there. So it's been very tidy, you see. And then, <laughs> That's when it all goes wrong with me. Right, okay, so let's go back to the overhead camera. There we go. Right, okay, so we're going to add some food colouring. We didn't do this last week, so we'll do this this week. So we're going to, I've got some white in another bag already. We don't need tons actually, what am I doing? That will do, just to put a little bit. I'll keep that for tomorrow, I need that for my course. Um, and we'll just add some gel. So it's very straightforward. It's nothing sort of strange and odd. You just literally pop that in. These are quite strong, these gels, so just be careful. And there we go. And then we're just going to start mixing that through. So you can just kind of paddle it through and it will mix really well. There we go. So a little bit of colour goes a long way on these type colours and I'm sure Carol has these on her, her sugar and crumbs page. There we go, you can see it now. So if I want to increase the colour I can add a bit more but I think actually I will increase a bit so you can see it on the camera a little bit better so we'll pop a tiny bit more in just so we can see what's going on and then we will get it into a piping bag. And I'll show you some little flowers that we're going to pipe. So I did a few combinations and I've created this design. With Kelly. With Kelly, which actually, Kelly, I'm looking around the room and thinking, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> we took it off that board, didn't we? I know. Can you remember what it was? Don't look at me like that. <laughs> yes. Good, that's all right then. Because we normally work all our designs out, you see, and I normally leave them next to me ready to go, you see. That's the idea anyway. Okay, so there we go. So we've mixed our colour. Perfect, that is fine. So we're going to put that into a piping bag and we're going to be using a nozzle number two, which is a PME nozzle, I think I've got. Yeah, something like that. So nozzle number two is a writing nozzle. If I see if I can show you two. There you go. That's probably the best angle for you. So that's a writing nozzle. That's what we're going to be using to make these little flowers. And I'm just going to cut the bag. I'm going to be taking an adapter. So I've got an adapter here and I'm going to be putting that inside the piping bag like so, popping the nozzle on top. And I'm going to take that over the top so that holds it in place. There we go, like that. Thanks, ready. So we're going to put the icing in. Luckily it's not flooding icing because that runs everywhere. And we're just going to take this out of here. You don't need too much. One of the main things about royal icing is actually you'll go through an awful lot so you don't need to put too much in your bag. People make lots of mistakes overfilling their bags and actually it can be a real hindrance. So if I undo my bag completely, you'll be able to see how much I've got in the bag. You see, it's not a lot. Um, I'd say it's about, it's less than a third full. It really is, it's not that much at all. Um, if you start filling it up to about here, it's a real nuisance. So just keep the amount you've got in the bag, just minimal like that, and you'll be absolutely fine. Okay, right. 
back on camera a second while I just organise myself. So flower nail for this, a grease proof paper. What did I do with it? I did have it, didn't I? There we go. And some scissors. So let's go back to this. Right, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to pipe some flowers on the flower nail. I will lift them up so you can see them. And we're just going to do some very basic ones, nothing too complicated. Just making sure that I've got no water in there, which I don't think I have. So we're going to cut some squares to start with. So we're going to take some greaseproof paper. All we're going to do is just cut a strip all the way along here like so, just move that out the way and you can fold it in half to make it quicker all sorts of things you can do to speed this process up I don't need that much so I'm quite happy just to do whatever okay and then take that one off there and um, what do we want, we don't want big ones, that will do, that's fine now we're going to put a guide on this um, no, where's my nozzle, there it is and we're going to use this nozzle and we can do it with a pen that's okay so what we're going to do is we're going to create a little circle just to help ourselves here because sometimes it's easier to do things with guides so all i'm going to do this is a very basic way of doing this is i'm just going to put that nozzle on there i'm going to take this pen and i'm just going to draw around it so i've just got myself a little circle like so there we go and then I'm going to get my flower nail like this. I'm just going to move the stuff over here that I need. Hold on. Um, let's see what that's doing. That's fine. Right, so we're going to take some of the icing. I'm going to pop it on there like so. And I'm going to put my guide on there to help me so that I can see what it is that I'm doing. So that's going to stay on the flower nail and I'm going to use this as a guide to help me make my flower. So what it does, it just means that I'm not um, basically trying to get a circle. I mean, as best I possibly can. It's easier with a little guide than it is trying to do it. Um, guesswork. So I'm just going to put another piece of greaseproof paper over the top like that and I've just put a little bit of royal icing in place just to hold it down. I'm just going to pop that down a second while I just get my bag ready. Let's move everything out of the way. There we go. All right so what we're going to do is we're going to pipe what would be some little shells into the middle. So we're going to, let me lift this up so you can see it as best as you possibly can. So we're going to squeeze and pull towards the middle. So squeeze and pull towards the middle. Okay, breathing occasionally and all the time I'm doing this I'm turning that flower nail. Okay. Keep going. Okay, until you get to the end like so. Okay, now you can then fill up the middle. Now you can either fill up the middle with another colour or you can put something in the middle. So. The queen of sprinkles is back, so I'm going to be getting some sprinkles out. And you can put something like just a little sprinkle in the middle to make it sort of a bit more of a blingy flower. So let me show you that again. So we'll just take that off like this now and just leave it to one side to dry. So this would then dry, um, takes about two or three hours to dry. And I will show you all the ones I've done because I've made loads so and I'm going to put them on a cake for you so you'll be able to see exactly what it is that's um, going on. So I'll put that down. Was the nozzle number two? Nozzle number two. Oh, I have memory line. You very good, Kelly. Oh, just That's the training, the years of training. <laughs> Let's show you again. So my, my bag is at a 45 degree angle. So I'm covered in royal icing, I can see. So my bag's at a 45 degree angle to my flower nail. And I'm going, the flower nail, the purpose of the flower nail is like um holding a mini turntable i suppose because you can turn it round as you go so let's do that again so we've got squeeze and pull to the middle squeeze pull to the middle like that and if you want to go the other way you can just turn it back the other way i might fancy going that way now and you can just turn it around so if you're left or right-handed it's not going to make any difference you can just turn it around like so now, when we're doing these, you want to make sure that you have got um, all the icing in the middle has connected at the end. Because if you don't, when you peel it off, then um, you're going to end up with different sections. But again, I will show you that 
um, on the ones I've done in a minute. It's really easy, really pretty to do, um, very straightforward. Let me take that one off. Let me show you one without a guide. So if you were to do a real mini one, actually I'll leave the guide on, it really doesn't matter. We'll do a tiny one. So a tiny one would be, you're just going to go around, you'll be an expert by now, you see, you'll be able to do little ones. So you can make mini ones as well. You can make all sorts of different sizes. So there's a little one, a little tiny one, put a little ball in the middle. There we go, got a little baby one there. Okay, let's take that one off. And we'll do one in white. Let's switch over to white. And I've got some white that I did from earlier. So again, I've still got the same nozzle in. So for this one, I'm going to do, I think I've got the same nozzle in, yes I have. So we'll do slightly different design here. So we'll just keep going. You can double these up as well. So if you wanted to do a layer of white and then a layer of pink, you could do that. So this one here, what I'm going to do now is put um, another different sprinkle in the middle. It's very simple. There we go. So we had these last week on my last live, didn't we? We had these little love hearts. So you could put a little love heart in the middle like that. So that's another different design. So you've got, in, you can also just pipe it plain. So you could do, let's move that one out of the way. I'm getting right selection going on here. So let's put that back on. And we'll do another pink one. And then we'll, we'll just pipe a white center on that because you can see how effective that is. If you look in the, um, if anyone likes Pandora jewelry, there is a very nice pink necklace that's got this little flower on it at the moment. And I dropped enough hints at Christmas to get it, didn't I, Kelly? Mm -hmm. Thank you to my mother. So this is where this is kind of come inspired from, really. So um, there you go. So that's a different one there, so you can see it like that. It is really straightforward. It does look a tiny bit daunting, but it's not. It really isn't. This flower nail here, you'll just move it automatically. You won't even sort of think twice about which way it's going after a period of time. Let's just reverse that. So let's do a white one with a pink middle. So again, so squeeze and pull into the middle. You can make them a bit bigger as well, so you can push out more icing. So I'll make this one a little bit bigger. And then I'll show you what they look like when they've dried and then we're gonna put them on a cake. Fabulous. Okay. And then there you go. So you can make little daisies look like that. So you can imagine if you were piping in the middle, um, what colour were the daisies? Yellow in the middle, wouldn't it, Kelly? Mm -hmm. So white here and then yellow in the middle. So if you wanted to make a daisy chain or something like that to go around the cake, this is what you would do. It's really easy and straightforward. Um, and you can make a lot of them very quickly. It's actually quite a nice one to just kind of sit and do. Um, and you don't have to concentrate on it too much. It is actually sort of quite nice and easy to do. So on that basis, we're now going to leave these to dry. We won't be able to use these during the live because they won't dry in time, which is why I've done them all in advance, um, because they don't um, dry quick enough. So you would need to pipe all of these and then you can leave them to dry. They will be dry in roughly sort of uh, two or three hours. Uh, depending on the weather but they do dry pretty quick um, and then you can peel them off and then you can make a load and you can store them so if you just fancy having a go at making some and putting them in a box um, brilliant then you can bring them out when you're ready and just use them um, as and when you want to so you're kind of making your own decorations really and being keeping them to one side so that's what we're going to do before I take the camera out of here and switch to a different one I'm going to show you what they look like after a few hours and how easy they are. So this is one that I've done this afternoon and then literally all you do is take your greaseproof paper and just peel it back and that's it. You've now got a freestanding decoration. Um, completely how long can you keep them after they've been made? Ages, absolutely ages. I mean, I would literally make a load of these, put them in a box, bit of greaseproof paper and put the lid on and they'll be fine. They'll keep for ages. So yeah, don't worry about them going off or anything. Um, what can I give you as a realistic guideline? 
those royal ice decorations that PME do, they last ages. So, I mean, let's be realistic here. If you were going to do a cake, say, at the end of the month, you could easily start piping these now. They would be absolutely fine. So that's what I would say to that answer there. Is PME not like nozzle two the same as Wilton nozzle two? No, Wilton is always marginally bigger. Wilton nozzles, um, because Wilton is more geared up for buttercream than it's geared up for royal icing, you'll find everything with Wilton is bigger. That includes the leaf nozzles, the writing nozzles, everything about Wilton nozzles is bigger. It's not a lot bigger, but it is bigger because PME is more ge geared up for royal icing, which is a much finer decoration. Um, and you will notice that difference between the two. So if you get look at a Wilton 2 and a PME 2 and put the two together, you will see there is a difference. Um, not huge, but when you're doing something very fine, it can be really noticeable. Um, so just look out for that. Right, let's switch to the cake. So there's the cake that we've got. I'm just going to move these out of the way. This is the huge number of flowers that I piped this afternoon. Ready for this? So fingers crossed there. I'm going to show you a quick have a look on the camera. There we go, look at that lot. So this is going on to our cake this evening, so hopefully it will inspire somebody to have a go. Um, this is all the work that I did. This didn't take me too long, maybe an hour and a bit while I was doing this. So let's go back to our cake here. So we've got a white cake here. Um, someone's gonna ask me how tall it is, I know it. So I'm just gonna I know rest... how, it's 17 and a half round. It's, yeah, I asked you to. <laughs> Right, it's five inches across by five inches in height. And as Kelly said, it is, it wasn't inches though, it was 17 and a half inches. 17 and a half inches, because I got to measure round the cake this afternoon um, because I have got, I've marked the cake here. I've put some little marks on here to try and help me with my pattern. So we've um, measured round the cake, divided it by six, and we've marked round some points here. I've actually had to make the points quite big because I did it a couple of times and went wrong the first time. So anyway, <laughs> I've had to make them really big so I know which ones they are. Is Gem the same, or J-E-M the same as PME? You said it right the first time. Gem, okay. You did. Um, Gem is, is, um, is it the same as PME? Gem is owned by PME. It is a different company. Um, and I don't know what a Gem 2 nozzle compares to a, a PME 2, if that's the question. I really don't know. Um, but Gem is another company that makes nozzles. Yes, that is correct. Right, okay, so let's start with our design. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a drop loop and some piping down here, and we're just going to fling it all up um, with a few sprinkles and bits and pieces, basically, we're making and it up. Flowers. And we're going, my piped flowers, and we're making it up a little bit as we go along. <laughs> we have done one test run, but who knows what's going to happen, we'll find out. So hopefully you can see, you might see a bit more as, you as I come round. So we're going to start over here, and we're just going to let the icing fall and go across to there. Now I'm just going to do one bit at a time because I need that icing to stay soft. Now uh, we're going to put this one in the middle like so. Lovely. And we're going to put a white. Kelly, tell me if I'm doing this right. Oh, I am on I, yes. But what we need to do before we do that, I'm just going to put another loop in because otherwise I won't be able to do that one so just bear with me we'll put a second loop in okay so we'll now put that one on top of that one like so there we go yeah. and then we are going let me come around a bit so you can see we're then going to add some silver balls around here so I'm using the royal icing for sort of gluing purposes for this bit is that right, Kelly? Yeah. Have I done it right so far? So we're, being, we're doing some bling now. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. And then we're going to go, how many have we done? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll do six on the other side. And then we can leave a gap. <laughs> Those loops look scary to do. I don't think I no, can get my royal No, they're to do that. not scary at all. Let's find don't worry gonna love it I'll tell you what the key to anything that includes buttercream and it definitely includes royal icing is that you've got the ingredients right in the first place and if you get the ingredients right in the first place anything's possible 
So that's what I'm going to say to you. One, yeah, two, three, four. This is the bit we all dread. No, one, two, three, four. It's going to be fine. Don't worry. It's going to be absolutely fine. Well, thank God someone else thinks the same. <laughs> what have we signed ourselves up for? <laughs> Sounds like torture. There we go. So we'll put those in like that. Okay, so that's where we've got to so far. Um, what do we do next? Dot, 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 little flower. So should I have done... Is that going dot, dot, down? Dot, little flower, then swirly. Was I meant to put a little one in between those? I can't remember what we no. agreed. Where's the little one? The pink one's going. They go down further then. Okay, so it's dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Sorry. Kelly and I are just having a little discussion so here about our camera. design. No, you're not on camera. You're okay. So we're doing a dot... People saying, are they actually going to be able to do this on the course? Yeah, of course you will. And then one of the little flowers. And then a little flower at the bottom here, which um, is the little... white. Was it white? Oh, yeah. Well done. So we're going to put that one in there. Okay. And then the swirly bits I like. Then we did swirly. Where did the pink ones go in? Were they in with the balls? No. Where did we put the little pink ones? We put them with the swirly bits. What, outside the swirly bits? We did bits? the swirly bit. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse the design process here while we just discuss what we do. The have swirly to, bits. What on there? And then where do they go in the middle? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so we'll pipe some swirly bits, shall we? Then people we go. are saying that they would use um, tweezers for balls. You can use tweezers. I can't. I can't get to grips with tweezers at all. But you can do if you want to. Of course you can. No problem. Each to their own. I'm just not very good with tweezers. This is my favourite piping. Yeah. Swirly bits. Swirly bits. Okay, that's what we agreed, wasn't it? Mm hmm And then that there. Yeah. There we go. How about that? Wow. Wow. Okay. This will be much speeded up process once Kelly and I get our head round what we worked out this afternoon. <laughs> you know, when you look at something, you think, what did we agree? I can't remember. Okay. And then we'll go the other way. Hold on. Is that right, Kelly? Mm -hmm. I've done that round the wrong way. No, I've done that one round the wrong way. Right, let's take that one off. Let's go the other way. Right, we're going that way. So round that way. That's better. And then you go back the other way. That's fine. Okay, and then... Right, sorry, you can't see that. There we go, that's better. And then we're going to put that one in there. Is that right? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. There we go. So that's the side. That's the plan, everybody. Okay, now we can do a speeded up version of this. So let's get this going. So you don't want to be piping all your lines um, in one go because they will dry really, really quickly. I'm sure tweezers is a good idea, but I'm hopeless. With... I, don't, I think tweezers with anything else, but tweezers and balls. Well, I would have a job to find them. This is the problem. I will have these things and then completely forget what I've done with them. So... I'm often losing bits of equipment all over the place. I'm probably just better off sticking with my... Although I dropped one now, you see. I've cursed myself now. Everyone's saying it's beautiful and so pretty. Ah, you see, now you're tempted to pipe your flowers, you see. They're probably all looking at it going, oh, no way am I doing that. And now they're going, oh, might have a go now. You see, because it's lovely, isn't it? And it's all edible. Oops. Now, what's happened here is this has got dry. So I'm just going to take that bit off. I'm going to repipe this line up to here. Sometimes it dries out what it does. It dries out really, really quickly. So I've lost my stick. I'm throwing balls all over the place now. See, I knew this would happen if I was going to do this live. <laughs> I was really nervous. Everyone's that. holding their breath. Please hold your breath. It was, um, <laughs> we were discussing this actually, weren't we? I said, oh, Kelly, I'm, I'm, I'm going to dread putting these, these balls on live. I know what's going to happen. Anyway, we're okay. We're doing okay. So you can design this. Now think jewellery. Think about jewellery and yeah, what's someone says it at the start. Yeah, the there you go. Think about all the different jewellery designs that are out there. Go and Google them, have a look. There's some amazing ones out there and you could replicate them. All with royal icing. There we go. Right. Let me get this right this time. Which way round are we going? That way. So round we go. And then I'll go back the other way. Going that way. Like so. And then we'll pop another one of these little flowers on. Right, I'm just going to have to turn this back towards me a second. So I get this round the right way. 
so and that way there we go what do we think so far well, i just squashed one that was not helpful they're pretty resilient she said i was just about to say <laughs> they're pretty resilient and then i squashed one so there we go all right like that how are we doing that looks okay doesn't it right let's carry on so we'll get to this next one and do another drop loop now you can see a great version of this on the side now i've done a lot of the filming of the royal icing course on the side because it's really important to be able to see the angles of these um the angles of the bags because that makes a lot of difference there's no point in looking down on something um, when you need to see the side version of it as to the angle because then you know um, what you're doing a bit better so that's why I've done quite a lot of it like that so let's put some more of these on I think the balls are making me not breathe rather than the piping to be honest so there we go people are saying that they um, have issues getting the texture of the icing right Yep, yeah, you've got to follow the recipe. That's the key to it. You've got to just do exactly what I've just demonstrated. So Carol's made it really easy for you. She's, she's made bags containing egg white. So all you've got to do is add the right amount of water and you've got to beat it in a food mixer for the right amount of time. So three to four minutes and you, you can't go wrong. The only other um, trip that people make is that with their food mixers, if they've been doing something like buttercream and it's not clean, um, because you've left a bit of grease in there then royal icing will be affected so you must must clean everything it's got to be absolutely spotless or it won't work so that's really really important okay so we're where are we now what was I going to put on the bottom of there going to ruin my pattern then let's go back over here so how are we all feeling about royal icing are they enthusiastic about it, Kelly? Um, <laughs> um, yes. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was typing with someone. Everyone says it looks fabulous, but everyone's so like, oh, can I do this? Of course you, you can. can. Look at it. Look how pretty it is. It's really pretty. You'll feel enthusiastic to do it. You'll want to do it because it just looks so pretty. And it's, it's lovely and easy. And I, what I love about royal icing is that you can make up these amazing patterns. Maureen says she might do a bit, a wee bit on her mum's birthday cake. It's sitting covered but naked. I'm so tempted but worry it will make a mess. Just wipe it off. Whose cake is it for? Maureen's mum. Oh, she won't mind. What you do? My mum wouldn't. <laughs> but <laughs> if it goes wrong, yeah, just... wipe it off, right? Yeah, if you make a mistake with royal icing, if you do white on white, just wipe it off really quickly, okay? Don't leave it there. Um, it'll be fine. It'll just come straight off. So um, just take it off. Have another go. Um, that would be my recommendation. Yeah, pipe white on white and you'll be fine. Um, yeah, should be absolutely fine. Go, <laughs> go for it. Why not? Yay, some people are saying they're going to have a go. Oh, good. Jackie says, I'm loving it, but I'm pooping my pants. <laughs> she didn't. <laughs> Somebody write that, seriously. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Listen, I'm not going to be standing over your shoulder, so you're all right. The people who've had to come into my class where I'm standing over my, over their shoulder. <laughs> oh, they've got more to... Well, not more to worry about. It's just they think I'm watching them, and I'm not. I've got eyes in the back of my head, really, so... You get a good product, or you get the product that works, and you're going to find this really easy. You're not going to find this particularly difficult, and you just have to practice as well. It's like anything. You've got to practice. So you might find your first couple of goes are a bit dodgy, but then it might get better. It's like the first time you iced a cake. If you, I always say to people, remember the first time you iced a cake, how did that go? And they all go, oh, terrible. How was the second, third and fourth time? Yeah, it was good. It got much better. There you go. What are you doing it now? Yeah, it looks great. You've got to practice this. So it might not come very quickly. You might have to practice a bit, but it will come. Okay. My scrolls are going in different directions, but that's all right. Doesn't matter. Not too worried. There we go. That's what we're getting at the moment. Where's my comments, Kelly? How am I doing? Sorry, I'm just replying to someone. 
Um, any comments, Kelly? And tell what are you doing on there? Pink wrong. one. Oh, I've done one wrong. Hold on, that one's wrong. Got confused. I'll probably come back and everyone's going to be like, no! <laughs> can, you can make royal icing with egg white and ice and sugar. There you go. We're over halfway now, so we're nearly there. And you're going to pull that drop Luke out. Look at that. Whoa. Wonderful. Okay, right, where are we? Okay. So we'll pop this one on there. You need a white flower at the bottom, not pink. What? Yes, right. I've oh, made okay. I'm sorry. Um, it's me. I've picked it up, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> somebody's I'm sorry, got I'm late. somebody's keeping an eye on me. Don't worry, it's not gone wrong yet. I had spotted it. So I've made a few extras in case I make a mistake, but that's all right, it doesn't matter. Not a problem. There we go. What I like about this as well is you can do all your flowers in advance, so you can get more done, get your cake made, and then you can just sit in a chair with your royal icing and you can just put this all together. So get everything done in advance. Don't You need to leave these to dry, so you're kind of going to be forced to do them in advance. Um, but this is one of these things that if you thought, oh, I'm, I'm dropping these now. If you just want to have a practice um, and make some little flowers, and if they go well, you you can make a few and put them on cupcakes, can't you? So you don't have to make a big cake. What colour icing should I do? I've made it pink. Sorry? Ordered some sprinkles last week. Someone says, what colour icing should I use? I've made a pale cream and pink rose. What colour icing should I use? I've made a pale cream and pink rose and pink hydrangea. Well, I tend to do white cakes and then, um, well, I don't know, I don't actually, some of the cakes on the Royal Icing course are different colours, so. Kelly's the colour queen, what would you recommend, Kelly? I think if you've made a flower that's, you want to make, you know, attract probably white, or a cream, you could do a cream, if you've made a cream flower, depends how much you want it to stand out. There you go, and Kelly is the queen of colour. Someone says your icing is like stretchy, mine just breaks. Yeah, again, that will be down to how you make it and your recipe. So that's something we're, we're going to iron out. But you have a go with whipping it up. You try it. Get yourself a bag and add the 70 grams of water and you beat it like I just did. And make sure there's no grease anywhere because it's the grease that upsets it. OK, so you don't want any grease lying around anywhere. And you're going to be fine. You're going to be absolutely fine. You'll be surprised. There we go. Look, we're nearly there. Da, da, da. Right. We're going to put those two at the top now. So one there. And another one over here. Where are we? There we go. Now, that icing's actually right back at the start. So I'm going to put an extra bit up there just to hold that one in place. There we go. So we've made it, you see, all the way around. So you can adjust this, you can change nozzles if you prefer to have it a bit finer, if you want to make it um, a bit more delicate, or you can add more and more layers, which is what royal icing is like. So you can add in lots of different patterns and things. Do you sell the the balls? The We've got a few little packs of of balls. I'm sure Carol's got some as well on her site. There we go. Right. Okay. So we've made it to there. Oh, thank goodness! I'm so relieved that bit's over with. <laughs> that was the bit I was not looking forward to on live. Right. Let's go down here. Now, because I'm sat at a bit of a funny angle, um, it may well be going up and down a little bit, but hey, it doesn't matter. I'm not too worried. I'm really not that worried. As long as we've had a nice time. That's all that matters. And we've understood the general principle of this. You were determined to have those scrolls in there, Kelly, weren't you? Today? I really was. Kelly wanted the scrolls, so we did the scrolls. 
I trust you, Tracy. I've mastered chocolate tempering with your technique, so I'm confident you can teach me royal icing. Oh, very good. Who said that? Lynn Bly. Okay, yeah, well done, Lynn. Yeah, you're going to be fine. So there we go. Look, we've done all of this with our iced flowers. So look at that. That's that's a bit of bling. I did say to somebody on um, the Facebook page earlier today I was going to be doing a bling cake. Now we're going to switch nozzles. So just going to, I'm just going to come over here. We're going to just unscrew the adapter here. So this is what makes um, changing nozzles really easy with Royal Icing. You can just pop a new nozzle on, add the adapter like so. And let's just squeeze it through. There was some icing in here earlier. I think it might be blocked actually. Hold on. Hold on. Might have to send Kelly to the sink. Kelly to the sink, please. Can you just wash that through? Yeah. So there's been so much piping going on in here today. Um, so what we're going to do in a minute is we're going to incorporate the design down here as well. I'm going to have a look. You need to turn that tap on. I've got a really creaky tap in here. Um, so we're going to have a look at some of the others. We're going to create a board around the bottom that's going to reflect what's going on at the top. Now we're not going to make that as blingy as what we've got down here. Um, we're still going to um, use all the flowers that we piped. Not too sure how many we've got. I'm just doing a little recce here on what I've got left. So we'll pull out what we've got and go from there. Thank you, Kelly. That's fine, thank you. Right, simply, she says, simply but make sure the nozzle's clean and you've not been recording a Royal Icing course earlier today. <laughs> I'm sure that won't happen to you. There we go, that's fine. Right, just make sure there's no water coming out of it. It's all fine, lovely. Okay, so what we'll do is we will pipe some swirls around the bottom here. So we'll just do some little rosettes down here. So the nozzle I've got here is a 42 PME. Actually, we're going to go that way. Why am I going that way? Let's turn the way around like so. And we'll start by using some of our little flowers. So we'll put that one there, we'll sort of line them up so we get sort of a bit of a triangle thing going on here. And I've got some big, bigger size balls as well that we can pop in there. There we go. I don't want to make this too much of a pattern, but I know in me we'll end up making it a pattern because it's almost unavoidable. Okay. So we'll just go around here. Now, where have we got to? Okay, we'll put another pink flower in here. I think what we'll do is we'll line up that, and that gives us then our, our row that we can add bits and pieces to. There we go. And we'll put another one. In there, got a silver ball in there. Oh, actually, I actually picked the wrong one, but that's okay. And what should we do here? So we'll put another one in there. Now we've also got lots of the other little ones as well. So we can put a little pink one there. This might not be exactly. If someone says to me in a minute, you put the wrong flower down. It may be I've run out, you see. I mean, I did try and count them, but you never know till you get live what's going to happen. So... There we go. Someone says they can see there's Kate and Bridgerton. Oh, yeah. I never thought of that. I know. Eat your heart out. We're going to be on Bridgerton with this cake. That's a good plan, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's very Bridgerton. It's pretty, isn't it? It's just different. Right. Okay. So this one here. Now, what did we do opposite that? We did. Let me work this out. Pink. So there's a pink one again there. And then we'll. We won't worry too much about the different sizes on here. We're just going to go for it. Okay. There we go. Right, let's speed this up a little bit. Come around, try and come around a bit further. There we go. You might be able to see a little bit better now. <laughs> the man is a total hunk on Bridgeton. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, don't make me laugh. How can I laugh and pipe? It's Aww. not possible, is it? My mum did royal icing cake for years. You remind me of her. Oh, that's nice. That's so sweet. I sent my mum a picture this afternoon of um, some of the course material for royal icing. And she said, <laughs> I can't remember what Granny said, but something like, no way, I can't do that, or something along those lines. And I offered to enroll her in the course. <laughs> she, said, nice. she said no. Oh. <laughs> I know. Oh, this made me laugh. 
Oh dear. There we go. Thought she'd want to. She's isolating, you see. So you know, I thought give her something to do. Royal her in a, a royal icing course, but no. I'm gonna message her and tell her to do it. I oh, know. I don't think she will. She's busy with her her art. You see. Right. We're nearly there. Nearly around the bottom. How many more of these have I got? One. Oh, I might have enough to do it. Just about. Just about. I'll pop that one in there. And what else are we using? Pink. And pink one there. Put another one in there. Don't forget to like and share. Don't forget to like and share. Kelly's very good at reminding me about liking yeah. and sharing. Yeah, don't forget to like and share tonight. There we go. I get very carried away with what I'm doing and I suddenly realise I haven't reminded everyone to like and share. Like and share, like and share, don't forget. There we go. Go back to the first one where I went the wrong way. Well, I didn't go the wrong way. There's no right or wrong way, to be honest. It's the back. Hmm? It can be the back. It can be the back anyway. You're right, Kelly. There's no right or wrong way, really. It's just I prefer to go. Which way have I gone in the end? Clockwise, yeah, clockwise. I'd started anti clockwise, so I changed my mind and went back. There we go. And okay, put that on there. Right, let's have a look at this now and see where we can add any more bling or anything else we want to put. Because if we're going to be in Bridgerton, we really need to to up our game don't we so we've got the little hearts that were in the center of those flowers as well what's the name of the piping nozzle you're using 42 number 42 so i'm just going to put these little mother of pearl heart sprinkles in here but i'm going to just stand them up a little bit so i'm not going to have them lying flat i'm just going to stand them up so that they're sort of i don't want everything to be flat on here so we'll keep them just tuck them in while the icing's still soft Makes it look a bit more 3D. There's never is there's never too much really on this. Okay. Is the enrolment for the course on the third of February? Yes. That's when the course material will be available, but it doesn't mean that you need to start it on the third of February. So if you don't want to start it till March, April, May, whenever you want, you don't have to start it until late like, whenever you like, basically. Um, but that's when the course material will be available. And are we going to have to get many peony nozzles for our course? No, not particularly. I, I did. Someone's asked me about, um, or several people now have asked me about when I will release a list of what the course materials you'll need. I'm trying not to make it too complicated, but the reason it's not been released is because I'm still filming, and I want to make sure when I've completed it that I've said to you, this is everything you need, and I'm not coming back to you and saying, oh no, by the way, you need this, but I can't guarantee that. <laughs> so that's what that would be me to a T. Right, let's have a look at the board. I'm just gonna move that forward a little bit. So we're just going to pipe a really basic um, little pattern on the board now, so we might as well take it out a little bit further. I've got the wrong nozzle in there. I'm gonna switch back to nozzle two. So again, put that back on. Sometimes when you've not piped your nozzle, uh, not piped through a nozzle for a few minutes, you might end up with it being blocked, which it is. Um, so you can just use a scriber, or sometimes if you just touch the top of it, it just unblocks, which it has done here. So that's absolutely fine. So all we're going to do here is we're just going to pipe a few dots on the board. And then we're going to come out this way as well. I don't know if you can see this. Yes, you can just just on the main flowers. Like so. I knew I was counting then, I forgot. One, two, three, four. So just some little dots. Like so, there we go. Just something else for the board really. So is the icing course set up like the painting course? Yes. So anyone who's done my painting courses, it's all on a platform called Teachable. And you just log in there where your painting courses are and you will find the Royal Icing course there um, once you've enrolled. And there will also be a closed Facebook group, which is already up and running, 
um, for the students and you can just go in there and there will be a couple of lives in there as well running through some of the course material live with you Where, uh, can you store royal icing that you haven't used yeah you just leave it in that glass plastic lid lasagna dish thing that i showed you at the start just leave it in there and it'll be fine if you haven't got that um, a temporary solution is a bowl with some cling film over it but it will crust royal icing is a bit of a devil it does crust so what you would need to do is um, you want to try and get more of a long-term solution if you're going to be making a bit of you know a bit of extra royal icing up okay so with royal icing you tend to or you can extend your patterns down onto the board as well so i'm just taking this down a little bit further just for also it's good practice you see all those royal ices out there that are thinking of joining there you go you see you can add a bit more <laughs> hopefully it's inspiring some of you anyway who are having a look at this and thinking have been umming and ahhing about royal icing for the last few weeks and thinking do i dare i yeah you're gonna love it it's fantastic you'll absolutely love it i'm just seeing what i've got left in my box if i can do another pattern but i think i've exhausted my supply now even though i piped quite a few yeah little bits of paper you've got left over that have the royal icing on them just pop them back in a bag and keep them and then you can just use them again so it doesn't matter um yeah you can just keep reusing these so just pop them in a little bag and just use them all over again right so that's it for that particular bit of piping so there we go um i have I have got another one of my silk flower specials to go on this although i didn't cut the end off this one so i'm going to have to adapt this one so i was then going to put on top of that my you can't see it at the moment because we're off screen but i will put this on in a minute i've got a big peony here but what i've got is a silk flower i do like silk flowers they're very good um so what i'm going to do I haven't got my scissors in here, so we'll deal with that later, Kelly. But I'm going to put this on. I'm going to take a picture of this, and I will put it on my Instagram so you can see it. I'll also put it on the Sugar and Crumbs page. Right, so I'm going to pick it up with its peony on top and show you. So I'll come back onto camera so you can see it. It'll probably fall off, <laughs> which is a good point, actually. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of royal icing on in, in an attempt to try and hold this in place while I pick it up. There we go. That didn't even touch the cake. No, I know it didn't. That's not very helpful, is it? There we go. Right. Are we ready? <laughs> I need to put some um, ribbon on this as well, which I will do as well. So there we go. Bridgerton. How about that? Bridgerton, eat your heart out. <laughs> there we go. Pretty, pretty. Going to have to get some silk flowers. I don't always use silk flowers, but actually I just thought this was really pretty and I really like the idea of this. And that is why I went with it tonight and just did some simple piped flowers. There you go. How about that? You can see my other one in the background from last week it is it's really, really pretty. Um, very straightforward, not too difficult, but it does give you an opportunity to practice piping some flowers. Um, there you go. Look at that. I'll move it forward a little bit so you can have a look. But yeah, here I am starring in my own episode of Bridgerton with my posh cake, or <laughs> Pride and Prejudice with Mr. Darcy, obviously. Um, <laughs> uh, there we go. So a nice vintage slash modern bling looking cake um, that you can have a go at. So I will be taking a photograph of it shortly and I will put it onto my Instagram so that you can have a look at it. Hopefully it's inspired some of you one to have a go with the whipping it up so if you've never had a go with whipping it up before and you want to have a go at making royal icing it's so easy you put it in the bowl and you add your 70 grams of water and off you go instant royal icing as long as you beat it you've got royal icing just really make sure everything is grease free that's really really important to make sure it's grease free and you've got all these amazing flavors that you can um test as well so carol's got a lot of flavors in whipping it up because i've got a lot of them and i'm working my way through them steadily carol um <laughs> so uh royal icing is beautiful it's just so lovely 
well actually once you get into it it's actually quite relaxing to do it's not necessarily that relaxing to do to actually do silver balls live on a, a, a live stream however uh, the overall effect is really pretty isn't it and we're getting lots and lots of comments about how lovely it is so yeah Bridgerton gosh I never thought of that I should have done it in pale blue everything on that set seemed to be pale blue didn't it um but yes uh you're very welcome uh, to join me on Royal Icing if you'd like to um it's all about product. It's all about getting those recipes right. It's all about taking everything step by step. And when I release that course material, they will be told, do not go straight to the end lesson because it looks like fun. You need to work through it carefully. You need to build up to things. Um, and with Royal Icing, you need to take one step at a time, especially if you're new and you're thinking about doing Royal Icing. If you suddenly um, go straight to the end cake, you're gonna really struggle. So you take your time, work your way through, especially lesson one, when you're learning lines and dots and things like that, really, really take your time and learn it. It's a beautiful skill, Royal Icing. Um, and I'm bringing it into the, in what century are in now? 21st, <laughs> 21st century, we're making it really, um, a bit more blingy in Bridgerton East, so there you go. So thank you very much for joining me this evening for this Royal Icing Garland Cake. I'm standing here now. Um, I'm going to take a photo of it and I'll put it up so you'll be able to see it shortly. If you would like any further information on whipping it up, do go to the Sugar and Crumbs website, so sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. If you'd like any more information on Royal Icing, then please go to my website, which I've just put up, on there i will be back on thursday morning at half past 11 for probably cake painting because that's what i tend to do on thursday morning so if you're interested in doing cake painting then do pop in and have a have a chat with me i'm more than happy to chat away with you about um everything and anything at the moment um but thank you very much anyway it's lovely to be here in the evenings and have a very nice evening and take care and i will see you all again soon bye for now bye